Let me just keep this baby awake. I mean, asleep. <laughs> I'm a horrible mother, dude. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I don't even intro that way. So I am back after taking two weeks off. For... So I'm back after taking two weeks off. The first week off was just because I was feeling a little bit under the weather. Bart got sick and somehow that went into my system. So I just focused on eating right, drinking a lot of juice, taking in a lot of ginger, a lot of vitamin C. That felt really good. The following week, I was actually on vacation and that was really nice to just take some time off, but I made it a point to stay active and when doing some research I saw that a lot of moms are recommending swimming just because it's really, I don't know, I'm out of breath, just to keep you moving, keep your heart rate up, keep your muscles active and one really cool thing that I noticed, there's this app I followed called Baby Center and it was telling me eight things doctors wish that every pregnant mama would do and amongst those was obviously drinking a lot of water, another one was obviously eating really healthy, eating right, making sure whatever you put in your body it's a good kind of food but one thing that I found really 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 cool is that they recommend that moms out there work out regularly they actually recommend 20 to 30 minutes of just movement whether that's swimming walking on a treadmill doing some sort of yoga they recommend 20 to 30 every single day and I thought that was really really awesome but you'd be surprised how many people are like don't exercise that's the worst thing you could do for your baby but Science is now putting it out there that it's not. It's the complete opposite. It's really, really, really good for you because a lot of new moms might not know, but they can get this thing called pregnancy diabetes. It's because now your pancreas is trying to do work for two people. So if you're not eating right or you're intaking way too much sugar, you can develop pregnancy diabetes. So just exercising helps with that. It also helps with excessive weight gain. That's one thing that a lot of new moms do where they're like, I'm eating for two now, so I gotta stuff my face which is not true. You should actually be only eating like maybe an extra 300 calories, depending on if you're having twins or not, that's gonna obviously change, but just keep exercising. I thought that was really, 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 really cool. So I wanted to share that information with you guys so that you guys can share it with other people that might not know. I took it really, really, really easy just because, again, I was off for two weeks. So uh, I stretched out really, really, really good today. Um, I took it really easy. I just warmed up. I, I, I felt all my joints. And just sweating while stretching was so rewarding because initially I'm like, oh, I don't know if I feel up to it yet. Not sure if I want to step into the gym. I might feel weird. But as soon as I started warming up, I was like, thank God for this. This feels so good. So if you're doubting yourself, just warm up, just stretch. And I think just stretching does something to you chemically inside that you're just like, oh, this feels really good. And it's, it's definitely motivating. And, and maybe the next step will be actually working out. So just take it easy. That's what I did today. <sighs> I'm out of breath again. I just did left, left, left foot? What the hell am I trying to say? I just did deadlifts off of box and that felt really good. I did it at 135. Didn't feel too, too light, but it didn't feel heavy at all. So I kept it there. Um, and then I did hat filled squats, just getting my glutes, my quads, my back feeling right, feeling activated. Uh, I got a good sweat in and then I just closed it out with um, sled pushes. And I thought that felt really good. My heart rate was up, I was sweating again. So now I feel loose, limber, I feel capable again and I can't wait to get back into the gym.
most importantly, and something that I swear to you I did not forget, I was just saving for last, I am 23 weeks pregnant now. The last time you saw me, I was 20 weeks pregnant. This month, I've noticed a bigger growth. You can't really tell because of my sweater, but the clothes are definitely not fitting right anymore. I thought they weren't fitting right before, but they're definitely not fitting right anymore. But the coolest thing is that this baby is now looking more and more like a newborn baby. So I'm not gonna get any crazy updates like his brain is developing like crazy and its ears are moving from the side of his face now into the side of her head or whatever. Now it just looks like a normal newborn. She can hear better now. So if I'm like vacuuming, they're gonna be like, what? What the hell? What's that? And they start recognizing patterns because they can hear things. They can start recognizing my voice. They can start recognizing their dad's voice. Uh, they can start feeling when I dance or if I'm jumping and they're like, whoa, what is this? But this is so cool. A cool thing that I've noticed too is their sleeping pattern. So when I'm active and not moving, I notice that like they're just sleeping in there. But then as soon as I slow down and I'm chilling, then they're like, whoa, there's a party. What's going on? And I feel all kinds of kicks and stuff. So I'm trying to pick up on these patterns because I'm like, as soon as this baby comes out, as soon as everything's quiet and still, this baby's gonna be awake. But I think as soon as it comes out, I'm just gonna rock it all the time just to be like, go to sleep, baby. Go to sleep, baby, just so you can feel like you're back in the room. But yeah, that's how I have been developing. Um, it's just, how do I say it? How do I close it up? So yeah, that's how I've been in terms of my development. Listen to your body. Do your body good, eat right, sleep right, drink lots of water, take care of yourself, get a good sweat on. Even if it's 20 to 30 minutes, do some yoga, do some stretching, just stay moving. Thanks so much for watching. Until next week. Let me just keep this baby awake. I mean, asleep. <laughs> I'm a horrible mother, dude.